To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die to sleep no more. I thought you said this was Hamlet. It is Hamlet. It's just a gender reversed Hamlet. Honestly, that is the most exciting thing I've heard about this play so far. This is just the rehearsal. Not much of a comfort. Why are they even practicing here anyway? I thought this was some big play group. They're renovating the main stage. If you're unhappy, go out to the lobby. It's not much better out there, Liza. You didn't have to come. I'm the one writing the review. Y you should be foaming at the mouth here. You think that some role-reversed Hamlet would have a his other historian seething or something? I'm not a historian. I'm more of an artist, you know, and I appreciate the artistic license that the director took. Artist, historian, writer, nerd, I never know what you are. But look, Turner, if you're going to complain, then do it outside. I'm trying to pay attention. I should have caught a ride with Christy. But Christy's got a boyfriend, so there's no interest there. Really, I don't know why I'm so nice to him. <sighs> Hamlet, starring Miss Henrietta Springer should be commended for its use of soft lighting and appropriate musical selection. <sighs> the things I do for the paper. Doctor? Doctor what? You have got to stop doing that. Sorry, but I only dropped it once. Check the pad. Turner? The young man who was with you. Pretty young to be talking like that. And I came alone, thank you. Maybe the first time around, but... Do you know what? I like you. You write down everything. My name's the doctor, and your name is Eliza Douglas. How do you know my name? Wait. Did you say the doctor? I'm on the pad. What is it with the pad? We met before, in the audience. I introduced myself and you told me your name. Then you forgot. Everyone forgot. But not me. I'm a time sensitive. I remember when things get folded over. I felt Turner get folded over. You dropped your pencil and when you picked it up you wrote it down. Then you dropped it again. Really simple. Really it is. Crazy, really crazy, really everything that's coming out of your mouth. Then how do I know your name? Why am I on the pad? You're a stalker. Oh, you're messing with me. It's your handwriting to a T. And every other letter of the English alphabet. How could 
that I just forget things right after I've written them down. Because you're human, with little human brains. You don't have any perspective. It's all linear to you. You can't see it like I can. The loops, the folds, the knots, the layers. I know this, but you don't. And it's so annoying. You're bonkers. Why do you say so? You're talking as if you're not like me, as if you're not human. But I'm not. As if. Listen, two hearts, two alien hearts. Double the beat, double the fact I'm not human. That's not possible. Then it won't worry you to have a listen. My word, you are serious. Congratulations, you're not thick. They should be here soon. What is that thing? I told you, sonic screwdriver. It happened again? You should write it down if you haven't already. Wait, if you're an alien, what are you doing here? This place is at the center of a time pinch. Time keeps folding in around it. I want to know why. Is it alien? Probably. If not, it's at the very least peculiar. Yeah, I think it's down here. Care to join in the sense? I don't know. All the stuff about aliens and time and stuff. It's all a bit weird. You were happy to follow me earlier. Right, right. Well, we'll get on with it. So what is it with you in the dark? I'm not afraid of the dark. Never said you were. Sounds like a good mom. Yeah, she was. She died. Car crash. My dad came in, and the power went out. I waited all night. In the dark? I told you it's silly. I don't think so. In here somewhere. What does it look like? I have no idea. Hold on. How come I get the cane and you get the laser? It's not a laser. It's a screwdriver. Uh, what about the cane? What does it do? I don't know. Keeps you from falling over. I, I think... There we are. A creepy painting. I think it's more than just a painting. Tell me a bit about this place. It's history, it's myths, stories. I think I'm starting to understand. Okay. Wait, what makes you think I know anything about this theater? You take notes. Fine, then. This place was built in 1934, renovated twice in 1974 and 1996. Renovated twice in 20 years. Got it. What does the history of this place have to do with anything? Any ghost stories? Myths and such about this place? No, not really. Well, there is the Phantom, but that's just a spooky... The Phantom? It's nothing. Just a spooky story. Eliza Douglas, you take notes. You observe. Y you missed so much! I 
I never miss anything. As far as I know, the people who built this place were creeped out by some voice they kept hearing in the shadows and beyond the walls. This, there were the same reports from both renovation teams as well as one of the previous owners of the theater. They called it the Phantom. And you didn't think it was important? So, it is the Phantom. The one that's making all this weird. Well, it's no ghost. It's definitely alive. That's odd. Look at the design on this. What, are we going to discuss ancient art now? Ancient? Funny use of the word. The paint composition is similar to the paints made by the artist in Van Gogh's time. So it isn't ancient. But why did you say ancient? No reason. It's just very, very old. How old? How am I supposed to know? You take notes, even when you don't understand them. Have you been listening to me? Well, nobody knows how old it is, or where it came from, or who painted it. How am I supposed to note information I don't have? And you'd never be able to. Because this painting is a prison. A what? Problem is, temporal wrinkles are converging on it. I've sent a message to some friends of mine. They should be here soon. Well, soon being a relative term. When did you send a message? You wouldn't remember. Again? I think I may be able to disconnect it from the wall. Can I see your pad? Don't rip any of the pages out. Wouldn't dream of it. Oh. Pants. Just watch. Look at what you can see when you pay attention. <laughs> Doctor, I think you should be careful. You know, I never asked. What date is this? July 26th. Doctor, I really think you should get away from that thing. I wonder how long it's been the 26th with time folds like these. <laughs> Doctor, be careful! I am! Doctor? 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 Right, the Hamlet rehearsal's tomorrow night. Ugh, things I do for the paper. <sighs> yes, little earth, awaken from your slumber. All is well and nothing to worry about. But wait till day after, and from there, tomorrow will come. And with it, disaster, glorious disaster. And the doctor of TARDIS is no more. Rise and shine, little earth. The doctor never saved you, and the doctor never was. Savor the day and the day next, little earth. Because everything shall fade to the phantom. <laughs>